Hello, my name is John Reeves and I've been a guide at Durham Cathedral for about four years. Behind the high altar is the magnificent Neville screen. This was completed by 1380 when Hatfield was still bishop. It was uh, gifted to the cathedral by the renowned, famous and powerful Neville family. The stone, as you can see, is much crisper than the rest of the stone in the cathedral. This is because it comes from Caen in Normandy. It was brought over to London, where the king's mason, Henry of Valley, designed and had it made up. Seven years later, it was shipped up to Newcastle, and it said it cost more to guard it there against the local thieves than it did to actually ship it up all the way from London. It was then brought to Durham by cart, and it took a year for seven masons to assemble it. There are 107 plinths here, and each one contained a statue. The main statue is of Our Lady, and she was supported on one side by St Cuthbert, and on the other side by St Oswald. The whole screen was painted, gilded, and silvered, and with fl uh, candles flickering, it must have made an awesome sight. However, about 150 years later came the Reformation and Henry VIII's dissolution of the monasteries. The monks, knowing that the commissioners would take anything of value, took all the statues down, wrapped them up and hid them. The problem is they told no one where they'd done this. So, are they still around? They possibly were taken to the continent or might more likely wrapped up and buried here the problem being that with them being made of alabaster, any damp getting to them would have turned them to dust. 